All right, against the odds time, we are in Amica Standard, fella there, guardianless Amica Standard, approaching the second sun's swamp for our opponent, and passes. Uh, let's just lumbering falls so we can attune next turn. Pass the turn. Another swamp, and scrap heap scrounger. All right, attune with ether, get a forest, but play farmland, pass the turn. Up to two energy, opponent gets in with scrap heap, down to 17, another swamp, and a dread wander, and a key to the city. Well, let's serve into the conduit, get some more energy, prairie stream, and pass the turn. Hopefully next turn we can start stabilizing. We're going to have the energy to spin a marvel if we can find it. Pitch is haunted dead. We don't have any rafts in the main deck, so we're going to have a hard time just beating a board full of creatures here. We can start picking them away one by one, but we can't just get rid of them. Bonin gets in. Yep. Down to 12. Another swamp and passes. We get another servant. Uh, let's just play the forest past the turn. Pony did not discard to get back Haunted Dead, so that's good. And we're going to be able to buy some time. All right, we'll take it. Down to seven. We're going to be able to buy some time with Gideon at some point. Another swamp. All right, let's a Glimmer of Genius. Bottom. I think we just bought them both here. A Tune and Glimmer. And a Plains. Hmm. Well, let's play the Plains. Play Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot. Go back up to ten. Pass the turn and just Glimmer again. Oh dear, Haunted Dead and Voldir and Praia. This isn't good. Now we just have to top deck. So we have to cast out Voldir and Praia. Never found approach or a tune with Ether, even with the help of a Glimmer. Opponent gets in with everything. Down to two. Another Dreadwander. Just keeps coming. Another cast out. Well, a tune with Ether. Gets us a planes, play the planes, play Gideon. I don't think this saves us here though. Servant of the Conduit, Emblem Gideon, and I think our opponent still just kills us though. Grasp, yep. All right, we're we're definitely dead now. Well, <laughs> we never drew a payoff. Well, against zombies, I guess we can bring in more. This is even zombies. Recursive aggro, I don't know. Uh, bring in more exile-based removal in the fumigates, probably. Maybe go on another part of the water bale. Try it like that. All right, we're on the play, and we have the classic zero lander into the classic one lander. I mean, I guess we keep it and scry. All right, ether hub is a land card. We have approach in our hand. Sanctum, go. Swamp for our opponent. Well, ether hub and servant of the conduit. This time we have our payoff cards, but I don't know if we have the ability to ever cast them on this mulligan. Opponent immediately kills our servant, so we're back to not being able to cast anything. Opponent passes. Not a land. Pass the turn. That is the downside of mulliganing a lot. Not a land, but I guess Puzzle Knot is a card we can cast. We need mana, though, to be able to do anything this game. Another land for our opponent. Well, our opponent's got the opposite problem. Opponent has Crypt Breaker. I mean, I think Mana Screw only beats Mana Flood if you eventually draw out of the Mana Screw. I don't think Mana Screw just meets Mana Flood forever. And apparently our opponent isn't flooded. I have no idea what our opponent's doing. That is still not a land. Up to turn 7 on the 2 land plan. We get to gain a couple life. Opponent's going to start discarding for value, making zombies. That's a prize to Melgum. Well, we'll pass the turn. I mean, we are at 26, but we're not doing literally anything if we draw uh, an untapped land somehow well that's a tap land <laughs> so get the planes past the turn i don't know if this is going to be good enough what we need to do is get to etherworks marvel and find a fumigate and then we sort of have a chance down to 14 well there's a land okay well in that case we will just etherworks marvel wow <laughs> Two lands for a long time, but we have an active ether works marvel. So now we have a lot of good hits. Key to the city. Opponent goes attacking. Now well, let's spin the wheel. Eh, we'll just take Rogue Refiner. Gets us some more energy. Draws us a card. Maybe a land? Rogue Refiner. Gives us a blocker. We'll just block the token. Gets some more energy. And that hopefully gets us closer to good stuff. Opponent passes. Another approach. I think Glimmer for lands is our best way of actually winning. Opponent's going to make a zombie. Well, let's put both of those to the bottom. 
Play a Sanctum. We're getting close-ish, but we're going to need some hits here. Discard Aetherworks Marvel. We're not dead yet, which is very good news. Swings with everything. Well, let's Marvel. And I think we'll just Stasis Snare. It doesn't get us energy, but it gets rid of Scrap Heap. Opponent passes. Land? A tune. Well, a tune for a land. Oh, we're so close. Island. Play the island. Oh, we just need a land. Let's marvel. Because we could hit an extra turn spell. And we do. Okay. Part the water veil. Now we're in business. Cast part the water veil. So we get an extra turn. Now we can rogue refiner. Draw a card. Land? All right. It's a puzzle knot. That's fine. Play the puzzle knot. Back up to 11. We're still a land short of our first approach. But we get an extra turn. Land? A tune. <laughs> Uh, the slowest of the slow. Well, let's attune. Get a forest. Play a forest. Play Rogue Refiner. Draw a card. And pass the turn. So I feel like we might have got there. <laughs> Phony discards Voldaren Praia. To madness it in. Yup. Still not convinced they can kill us from here. Well, let's spin the marble now. I mean, we can just approach up to 18. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just cast Approach. Approach number one, which puts us up to 18. And then I guess we just pass. So what we do here, and we have Approaches in hand, so we can win that way. But the whole idea of Aetherworks Marvel, we hit the first Approach. Then Marvel hits six cards. So if we activate on our upkeep, we're guaranteed to draw the Approach after the other six cards go to the bottom. And then we just cast it and win. So I think after being stuck on two lands, we're still going to get there. Pony gets in. We take it. Distended Mindbender. Gets rid of our cards. Crack a Puzzle Knot. Get some energy. Upkeep. We marvel. I mostly want to do this just to make sure that this works the way, way we want it to. So Marvel, Rogue Refiner. So the card we draw here should be Approach. It is... That is exactly how we drew it up. And approach number two, and we got gotcha. you. <laughs> oh, sweet. Well, that's how we drew it up. That worked about right after the super slow start. Uh, yeah, try it again. And classic one lander. So we got to ship it. Okay. A tune is very good. I was going to say this would be okay if we found blue mana, and we did. There's a Dread Wanderer. Well, Forest, a Tune, Four, an Island. Fast turn. Another Swamp for our opponent. Gets in, 4-2. Down, 18. Key to the City. Well, Play the Plains, definitely going to cycle one of these cast outs. We don't really need two of them at the moment. Maybe should have cycled Main Phase in case. This is going to be interesting. Winning without Approach of the Second Sons. And this is one of the, the challenges of Approach. Opponent correctly names Approach. So our plan for winning now is really janky beatdown. And I guess we have a couple of Part the Water Veils. I mean, we can still get a lot of value out of their Works Marvel. Let's cycle our cast out. Well, play the Island, play a Rogue Refiner, and pass the turn. Opponent starts discarding, draws an extra card, Swamp, gets in, 4-2. Well, we take it, down to 14. Another Dread Wander. Well, let's attune with the Aether. Get our last basic, play Sanctum, play Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot. Up to 17, and I guess we might as well attack, because we can't do anything else. Oh, we're probably going to have to start cast-outing them, which is also not a great plan. Down to 13. Scrounger. Well, let's get in with the Rogue Refiner. Play a Plains, pass the turn. So I think we're just going to Exile Scrounger here. Jeez, that's a lot of zombies. Well, cast, cast out. Get rid of the Scrounger. Well, we need a Wrath. We need Aetherworks into a Wrath to stay in this game. Take a big hit. We do have Glimmer to help find it. Puzzle Knot. Play a Forest. Well, I guess we just play Puzzle Knot. Pass the turn and Glimmer. So we shouldn't die here. Down to four. Well, it's Glimmer time. Bottom, bottom. Okay. Well, this keeps us alive. Fumigate. Wipe the board. Our opponent is going to be able to rebuild. We go up to eight. Play the land. 
play Servant. Thankfully, these can only come back as a sorcery. Opponent just discards a land. Gonna draw an extra card. Yeah, opponent draws. Opponent passes. This is really interesting. Oh, these these cycling lands. Well, let's cycle. All right, I guess we just pass. See what our opponent's plan is. Ooh, discards Haunted Dead. That's a good one. Oh, they didn't get it back yet. Oh, goodness. I was afraid they were just going to get it back right away. That would have been scary. Opponent has a Liliana. Okay, makes a zombie. Well, let's... I guess we can kill Liliana? The other play is Cycle and Stasis Snare, and if we hit a land, part the Water Veil. Let's Cycle. All right, there's the land. So Stasis Snare the Zombie. We'll play Canopy Vista and Awaken Apart the Water Veil on a Plains. Pass the turn. Could still use a Marvel. Marvel? Cast out. All right, let's kill Liliana, hit our opponent. Play Sanctum, pass the turn. See if our opponent has Fatal Push or anything in their deck still. Lost Legacy. Oh, name's Ulamog. All right, uh... The only reason that's pretty bad is our opponent cast a Lost Legacy earlier, so they should know that we don't have any Ulamogs. Um, well, let's do some Puzzle Knot Crackage. Keep gaining life. Think we're gonna wait on Cycling Cast Out. A tune. I don't even know, do we have one land left? We have zero lands left. Okay. Go attacking. Grasp on Servant. Yep. Well, our opponent takes six, and they have to not take another hit from our land. Hana Dad comes back. Yup. Prize Amalgam. Tapped. Opponent's out of cards. I think we win. Cast out the token. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> well, I knew building this deck that Lost Legacy was potentially a problem, and our opponent Lost Legacy does. And we didn't even draw an Ether <laughs> Works Marvel this game. And uh, we're still gonna win. Yeah, I mean, cast out. Not cycle. Get rid of the spirit. Untap. Swing. For Xaxes? Wow! Alright, well, approach! We got the approach win one game, and then we got the jank win through Lost Legacy. Sweet! Alright, against the odds time. Approach energy, approaching energy, sun energy, energy of the sun. I think we're narrowing it down. I don't know if you ever noticed this before, but I usually work my way towards the name of the deck as we're playing. <laughs> <laughs> Figure it out as we go along. Energy of the sun, sun energy, something like that. Uh, this hand's fine. Tune with ether. Get a... Oh, God. We're going to take green. I would like white, but making sure we can rogue refiner to draw cards is most important here. Glint sleeve siphoner for our opponent. Well, play the forest. Play our servant of the conduit. And we're going to get to start spinning ether works before too long. Pest turn. Hopefully Servant lives and we get to Rogue Refiner. Ether Hub for our opponent. And Lathnu Helion gets our opponent some more energy. Gets in for a bunch. That is a lot of damage. All right, down to 14. Glimmer. Well, let's Rogue Refiner. Draw a card. Prairie Stream and pass the turn. The bad news is we don't have enough energy to spin this Marvel next turn. The good news is we have Marvels. Fiery Temper. On Rogue Refiner. Opponent goes attacking. Hits us for a bunch. Down to eight. Yup. Conti's Mechanations. Uh, that's not an ideal draw. Well, let's Rogue Refiner. Draw a card. Tune with Ether. Get a... Planes. Play the Planes. Pass the turn. Well, let's see if we live. There is a world where we just die here. Opponent goes attacking. Gets an energy. Well, we need to chump Lath New Helion. Down to six. Another Siphoner. And a Soul Scar Mage. Opponent pays. Oh, we drew approach. Well, hmm. Play Aether Works Marvel. I think we just gotta spin it right away. I mean, I guess that's the plan. So approach, gain seven, up to thirteen. Pass the turn. What's our opponent got? Goes attacking. Get some energy. Well, I think we gotta take this because if we draw an untap land, we might wanna part the water veil. Brawler, discards last card, not fiery temper. All right, just a land. Pays the energy. Gideon did not draw land. So play Puzzle Knot. Sack Puzzle Knot. Gets us some energy, gains us some life. We get to spin Aetherworks. Approach. <laughs> 
up to 18. It does not win us the game, though. We don't have enough energy to win the game. And we're taking a massive hit here. And I don't think we have enough energy to win next turn. Ugh. A land? Cycles the canyon slow. Gets in. Four million. Yep, we take it. Fiery tempers are phased. Does this kill us? No. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I think we dropped to one. Yep, so we're down to one. Which means we're going to have to make this turn really count. Untap land would be the best. Uh Opponent kills us. Never mind. Got to use machinations. Well, being stuck on lands was not ideal. Well, we'll bring in fumigates. Bring in blessed alliance, I guess. Go down a cast out in the Gideons. Try it like that. All right, we get to play first. We'll see. We'll see. This could work. So sanctum, a tune. I guess we'll just take the planes for now. Pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent and a soul scar mage. Well, it's just planes and play a Wood Reavers Puzzle Knot. Our energy production's going well. Pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent. By force. Sure. Uh, we're pretty fine with that. Opponent gets in for two. Well, let's attune with Ether. Play the island. Pass the turn. Opponent has Brawler. Yup. Discards a Helion. All right, let's just make our opponent sack Soul Scar Mage. Ether Hub, getting energy. Oh, jeez. Well, since we drew Blessed Alliance, we might just do that again. Tap land. Opponent goes attacking. Well, let's two mode it. Gain four life. Opponent's X. Up to 25. Jeez, opponent is <laughs> suicide red, all in on discarding their own hand. Eh, let's just main phase Glimmer so we can make our land drop. Puzzle not to the bottom. I think we go Rogue Refinder to the bottom, too. All right, that works. Get an Ether Hub. Pass the turn. There's a Helion. Yup. Opponent hits us for eight. Well, let's Glimmer of Genius. Bottom and top. A tune with Aether. Oh, we're so close. Get a forest. Play a Sanctum. Pass the turn. I think we have it now? Siphoner gets an energy. Hits us for eight. Down to nine. Helion gonna kill itself. All right. Seven mana, so play the forest. Approach. <laughs> we're just doing it the old-fashioned way on this one. Up to 16, another approach in hand for the win next turn. Opponent gets in. Four, six. Well, they need discard or the game gonna end. The second sun is approaching. Alms of the Vein, yeah, sure, down to seven. Well, we will approach of the second sun, number two. And this time it's from the hand. Good game, good game. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we did it the hard way without our <laughs> Etherworks Marvel. All right, uh, this hand is reasonable. Untap land for our opponent. There's a puzzle knot. Spend the energy on a tune. Get an island. Pass the turn. There's a swamp for our opponent and key to the city. Jeez, I think servant's too good to pass up here. Play the island, spend an energy, play servant, pass the turn. Uh, Ether Hub for our opponent. Lightning Axe, discard Alms of the Vein. Well, that's okay. You well, there's an approach. Let's just Puzzle Knot. Back up to 20. Play Canopy Vista, pass the turn. We do need a land. Opponents all the way to the loot point with key to the city. Well, that's good news. Discards land, draws a card. Another Ether Hub. And a Siphoner. Yup. Land? Fumigate. Well... This means we need to Rogue Refiner, draw a card, get some energy. Land? Oh, no! Another approach. Oh, we really needed to land that turn. Opponent draws a card. The whole ether works, but not being able to cast it plan is not good. Soul Scar Mage. Opponent gets in. 4-2. Gets an energy. Well, we desperately need to land this turn. Please, deck. Please. <sighs> All right. Irrigated Farmland. Pass the turn. Not the land we wanted, but probably the one we deserve. Discards and Alms of the Vein. Opponent draws an extra card. Another Glint Sleeve. Oy. Well, we could just find a land for Fumigate. That would be great. Well, let's crack our Puzzle Knot. So, Untap land would be great. Otherwise, we're on the Marvel plan. Part the Water Veil. We would have rather had that in our deck. We'll play Marvel. Marvel. I guess we just have to Glimmer for lands? Put two Marvels to the bottom. 
There's a land. Pass the turn. Discards a key. One card in hand. We're getting close. We got two approaches in hand, and we have a wrath. Draws with key to the city. Well, this is annoying. Does slow us down quite a bit. Discards a fiery temper. Opponent's just casting it. Casting it all. Yep, down to 12. Get hit for a bunch. Opponent gets some energy. Down to 5. Land? That's an ether hub. All right, let's ether hub. Get an energy. And I think we're going to cast the world's worst part, the Water Veil. Because if we draw land on our extra turn, things get much easier. So extra turn. Oh, it's an untap land. Well, I think our safest play is just to... Man, we could just approach, approach. We do up to 12. Well, let's just fumigate. Clear the board. Play Servant of the Conduit. Pass the turn. Then next turn, hopefully, we start approaching. Opponent draws. Plays a land. There's the Brawler. Discards... Alms of the Vein. Okay. We drop to five, but now we get to approach. Play a tap land. Approach number one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yup, up to 12, pass the turn. That's another approach in hand. Attacks. Fiery temper. Yup. <laughs> oh, yup, down to something. Untap. And, yeah, I mean, seven mana. Approach number two. The second suns <laughs> with another win. <laughs> oh, wow. The card's actually pretty... <laughs> Actually, pretty sweet. Seven turns is a seven life is enough that if you have one in hand, well, if you have two in hand, a lot of times you can cast one, not die, and just cast another one in it, and it works. All right, against the odds time, approaching. Oh God. Well, to approach five lands. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I mean, we make our land drops, we somehow live, and we win. It's that simple. So if we live till turn 8, well, turn 7 maybe, Evolving Wilds with the super sweet new art. Favorite Evolving Wilds art, Swamp for our opponent. Oh god. Number... Uh, yeah. We don't really need the the third approach. <laughs> it only takes two. Forsaken Sanctuary, Dread Wanderer. Well, play Sanctum. The land part is working. Question is, is our life total going to be high enough when we start casting these? Opponent gets in. Oh man, it would be so awesome if this hand worked. I got a feeling we're going to need to draw something, like a Rogue Refiner. Another Evolving Wilds. Cracks it. Swamp. And Crypt Breaker. Okay. Very strong, but not super fast. Another Crypt Breaker. Okay. Okay. Non-land. Well, Puzzle Knot's actually sweet. That gains us six life over two turns. We can also start leaving up Sanctum activations. Opponent gets in with it all. Yep. Take four. We might be fast enough. Ugh. Alright. Wayward Servant. Another Crypt Breaker. Drains us. Down to 16. Well, let's just play the planes pass. See what our opponent does. Goes attacking. Alright. Let's Lumbering Falls. Block that thing. Alright. Down to 13. What's the follow-up? Metallic Mimic. Ugh. More Wayward Servants. All right, let's attune with ether. Get a forest? Yeah, get a forest. Play a forest. And pass the turn. Oh, we're so close. I haven't done the math. Maybe? Opponent draws a card. It really depends on how our opponent attacks here. Goes to combat. Oh, dear. All out. Well, same plan. Lumbering falls. Block metallic mimic. Drop to six. What's our opponent have in hand? Oh no. Third Wayward Servant's probably our death. So approach to 12, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, another Wayward Servant did us in. Crack Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot. Up to eight. Play Canopy Vista. We need to marvel into an extra turn spell, and we might have a shot. Oh, come on. Come on, deck. One time, one time. All right, part the Water Veil. Does this do it, though? Well, I mean, we gotta take it. Part the Water Veil. Cast part the Water Veil. Take an extra turn. We untap. What do we draw? Servant. Now it gets tricky. We have to Glimmer of Genius. Scry both to the bottom. Well, there's the fourth approach. Play Rogue Refiner. Two more energy. Draw a card. Play Sanctum. Now we get another spin 
Gotta hit a another extra turn spell. And we did not. Uh well, we drew all four approaches, which is Oh, <laughs> uh, we probably shouldn't have kept that initial hand. Yeah, I think we're dead no matter what. Well, we made a go of it from being in a really awkward position and drawing every approach of the second sons. So bring in our two fumigates. Those are our big hitters here. Maybe bring in a stasis snare? Actually, no. Yeah, let's go like that. All right, we're on the play. Oh, man, this is the nuts with no green mana. Well, we're going to try it. Let's keep. We got double attune with ether, and we got the puzzle knots. So if we just get any green source, any green source, this hand's going to be great. Glimmer, not a green source. Uh, come on, lands. Lands. Lands that make green, please. Swamp for our opponent. And passes green mana okay non-land part the water veil very far from being a land well we gain three pass the turn another land for our opponent what's in their hand diagraph colossus all right green mana this turn all right there is a tune with ether gets us an energy or an ether hub now we get to attune with ether get a forest play a puzzle knot gain some life pass the turn all right we got there in a somewhat timely manner Cracks it. Gets a planes. Wayward Servant. Yup. Gets in. 4-2. We take it. Alright. I think we gotta make sure we can fumigate next turn. Play the forest. Get a forest. Pass the turn. This feels weird when we got a marvel, but missing or drawing an untapped land could just lose us the game. There's a Plague Belcher. We get drained. Kills a token. Goes attacking. Well, sack the Puzzle Knot. Up to 24, down to 20. Play the forest, and yeah. Fumigate, clear the board. Don't really gain, we gain one life, but Plague Belcher drains away the rest. One of the upsides of Plague Belcher. Bone has a land. Oh geez, and passes? Okay, things are looking up. Let's just marvel. And maybe we just go, well, yeah, let's just go right now. And we'll take Glimmer, because we do want to draw lands. One of the upsides of main phasing. Servant to the bottom. Think we gotta keep Fumigate. Servant, not to the bottom. <laughs> Thanks, Modo. Wayward Servant. And a land. Alright, play Ether Hub. Get an energy. And let's spin the marble, see what we hit. Marvel. Well, there's Approach. Approach. Oh, do we have it? Approach number one. Oh, we don't have enough energy. Oh, yeah, we... Oh, we don't have enough... Okay, this works. Play Servant of the Conduit. Play, man, such bad tapping. Rogue refi, uh, all right. That throws off the math, actually. Pass the turn. Shouldn't have played Rogue Refiner there. Opponent grasps our refiner. Well, the nice thing is we just keep doing that every turn, and eventually we're going to play it from our hand and get it. Opponent attacks. We will trade. More energy. So, Glimmer of Genius. Um, bottom top sanctum woodweavers puzzle knot this does it so now we get to marvel wow all of our approaches take an approach does not win us the game because it's not from our hand up to 38 past the turn now we set an upkeep stop <laughs> oh, i love when this works out <laughs> the old use etherworks marvel at oh opponent we had things all set up well uh, okay well now we got to do it the hard way rogue refiner draws us a card rogue refiner draws us a card cycle cast out draw a card pass the turn we're getting there the old the old-fashioned way Ooh, ooh, man our opponent is going to get back a lot of zombies jeez dust dawn pretty sweet in the zombie deck not sure it's going to be fast enough here but oh all right <laughs> copy number two of approach and this one says you win the game <laughs> oh it's so sweet when it works they even messed up our marvel plan and it still works and huh i think we're gonna mulligan all right we'll try this and eh, farmlands to the bottom we want action rogue refiner's good so Sanctum, Attune, Island, pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent. And, ooh, Metallic Mimic. That is an annoyance. 
Well, a tune. Play Canopy Vista past the turn. At least we get to Stasis Snare it next turn to minimize the damage. Swamp for our opponent. And a Plague Belcher. Going to be super big. Yup. Gets in for two. Well, play the planes. Pass the turn. Oh, golly. Okay. Well, only real play here is Stasis Snare at Plague Belcher. Take two. Sweeper. Fumigate. Planes. Well, play Rogue Refiner. Draw a card. Glimmer. Play Lumbering Falls. Pass the turn. I just don't know how long we can keep living. Blinding Mummy. And a one drop to tap our Rogue Refiner. Not looking good unless we draw a Fumigate. I don't even know if we live till next turn. We don't. Well, this has been quite the zombie draw. Fumigate one time? Puzzle not. So our only realistic out is Ether Hub getting energy. So play a Puzzle Knot. Gain some life. And pass the turn. So we got four Marvels, two Fumigates. So I guess that's ten cards that give us another turn. Which isn't the worst odds of all time. Kills our Stasis Snare. Gets back a Plague Belcher. Jeez, so many Plague Belchers. Opponent goes attacking. Well, sack this. Up to 16. Down to a low life total. Well, let's see what we draw. Something? Farmland. Well, I guess we can cycle Farmland into Etherworks Marvel. And that does it. Alright, against the odds time. Playing some Approach of the Second Sun in standard. And we'll try this. I mean, we really would like our Servant to live. We have Servant, hopefully into Glimmer. Forest for our opponent, and a tune with Aether. Well, Forest and Servant of the Conduit. Pass the turn. There's a mountain. Oh boy. Come on, lands. We need lands. We need lands. It's a Gideon. Not a land. Pass the turn. Opponent has a Cinder Glade. Fouls it up with a Lath New Helion. Come on, land. Approach the anti-land. Pass the turn. Yeah, looks like we're just dying. Opponent has Volcaic Brawler. Gets a couple more energy. And this thing. Gives a creature haste until end of turn. Well, this might be a quick one. Oh, God. All right. Well, I mean, we kept a two lander, never never drew a land number three, and got our servant killed. Well, we bring in our Fumigates, bring in Blessed Alliance, go down Gideons, and try it like that. All right, we play first. And okay, Ether Hub and a tune. And we'll just get a Planes so we can cycle these cast outs. Tune for our opponent. Gets a Forest. I'll play the Planes and Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot. Opponent passes. We'll play the island, play Servant, and pass the turn. Have the white for cycling here. Hopefully our Servant lives, that would be great. Then we could just Glimmer, and we're Garrison. Now let's cycle a cast out, another part the water fail. Land? Marvel. Uh, this is awkward. Let's just Glimmer, find our lands. We will draw both. Play Canopy Vista, pass the turn. So next turn we have Marvel activated. Opponent gets in. For a bunch. Makes the tokens. And Arlen Cord, interesting. Makes a wolf. Well, let's play Aetherworks Marvel. Play Prairie Stream. And we'll just Marvel right now. Well, I guess we just have to Fumigate. And pass the turn. There's a Mountain for our opponent. And a Lath New Helion. And a Blood Rage Brawler. Well, opponents played a lot of big things. Could definitely use a land. Eh, let's cycle cast out. Into a cast out. There's an Ether Hub. Gets us an energy. Let's sack our Puzzle Knot. Get some energy. Activate Etherworks. Get a approach. Go up to 29. And pass the turn. We're pretty close to winning. Opponent has Hazarat. Jeez, that is a lot of attacking. The only good news is we do have part the water veils for extra turns. Let's cycle. Another Marvel. Down to 16. Opponent spends the energy. Blessed Alliance. Well, let's cast part the Water Veil. Take an extra turn. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's not good. Part the Water Veil. Take an extra turn. Alright, pass the turn. Trusted these Blessed Alliances will keep us alive. Yep, opponent keeps playing stuff. Goes attacking. So let's Blessed Alliance two modes. Gain four, opponent sacks. Then just normal Blessed Alliance. Opponent sacks. We could use a way to actually activate our Marvel. 
Long Tusk Cub, opponents out of cards. Man, we are a land away. All right, play Marvel. Legend rule our Marvels. Not good, not good. We get two energy. We have the approach in hand, but we just don't have the mana. And now we're dead. Wow. Wow! We had so many turns. We took so many extra turns to draw land, and we just didn't find one. All right, against the odds time, playing some approach energy in standard. And this hand's fine. Not exciting, but fine. Four boating ruins for our opponent, untapped. And bomb at courier. Gets in. 4 1. Well, Lumbering Falls goo. Mountain for our opponent. And a heart of Kirin. Oh, God. That's not good. Gets in. 4 1. Well, play the planes. Play a servant of the conduit. Get some energy. Pass the turn. We're still energy short of activating Aetherworks Marvel. There's the Scrap Heap Scrounger. Pretty good with Heart of Kirin. Cruise it up. Gonna get in. 4 4. We can't stop it. We'll play the island, play Servant of the Conduit, and pass the turn. We're going to have to find an approach here pretty quick. Another Scrap Heap. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's so much damage. Opponent. All right, I guess we got a block. Take seven. Another Glimmer. Play Canopy Vista. So next turn, we're going to be able to get a Aetherworks activation. Opponent has a tap land. Kills our Servant of the Conduit. Goes attacking 4-4. Four, four. Well, that's Glimmer. Bottom, top. All right, Servant and Cast Out. Well, let's play our Aetherworks Marvel. Play Lumbering Falls. Actually, I think we got to spin now in case we hit extra turn. All right, we hit Approach. Up to 13. Pass the turn. Is this going to be enough? We're not just dead yet. Seven cards deep. Opponent has the Nerd Ape. Cruise up Articurin. Going to hit us for seven. Yep, back down to six. Oh, we're so close. Opponent passes. We draw another cast out. Play the land. I think we just start off by taking an extra turn, see what we draw. If we draw a tune with Ether, we could get enough energy. We draw Ether Hub. Play Ether Hub. Get an energy. Glimmer. Two lands to the bottom. Oh, two more lands. I believe that means we're dead. Play Servant, an energy short. Yeah. Oh, so close. Even with the turn two hard to cure in. Pass the turn. I mean, maybe we're somehow not dead. We're dead to creature. Dead to burn spell. I don't know what our opponent's hand could possibly be that we weren't dead. I'm very confused why they haven't just killed us, though. We... Okay. I mean, we're dead again. But we had multiple unlicensed disintegrations in hand. They could have just cast it in one. Maybe they're trying to play around Blossoming Defense. This still seems very convoluted. I don't know why you would think this deck would have Blossoming Defense. And they're still taking convoluted lines. What in the world is happening? Gets in with Heart of Curin. I am so massively confused. They have Scrap Heap Scrounger and Bombing. <laughs> Oh my god, opponent. So, then multiple lights and disintegrations. They kill Servant, then we're dead. That's obvious line number one. Obviously, if they're trying to play around Blossoming Defense, obvious line number two is to get back Scrap Heap Scrounger with Bomb Ant Courier, attack with every... Use the Scrounger with Summoning Sickness to crew the Heart of Gear and attack with everything and we're dead. Somehow our opponent found the most convoluted way of winning that game imaginable. That... I mean, that is a line. That is a thing you can do. What is happening over there? I mean, it's not that that line is wrong. It's just so needlessly complex. Uh, all right, we get to play first. Irrigated Farmland. Pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent. And a bomb at Courier. Gets in 4-1. Oh, boy. This, this, this. So one thing I've noticed is, man, we get mana screwed a lot for having a 25 land deck. And yes, I know it's technically 24 lands and... It's technically 24 lands and... Or 21 lands and 4 attuned with ethers, but still. Good God. Another bomb at Courier. Oh, come on, land. Untap land. Oh, deck! Good Lord, deck. Do you gotta do this to us? Ah. Oh taunting us with all these glimmers and the inability to cast them problem is once our creature dies we're so <sighs> all right we're doing this the super hard way servant number two pass the turn opponent 
passes. Well, our opponent's stuck on one land, so this is kind of working out. Play an Ether Hub. All right, we're getting there ever so slowly. Pass the turn. Well, our draw's been slow, but our opponent's draw's been slower somehow. Let's Glimmer. Hopefully this puts an end to our problems. Bottom, we'll keep Marvel on top. No lands. Glimmer, try to find those lands. Rogue Refiner to the bottom, Vista on top. Canopy Vista, pass the turn. And we'll just discard a Stasis Snare. We're getting kind of close to the natural approach win. Our opponent not doing anything is making it much easier. Opponent passes. Keeps discarding. There's a Canopy Vista. Yeah, let's just Marvel. Activate Marvel. Get a approach. Up to 29, pass the turn. And with another approach in hand, our opponent needs to kill our stuff, or, or we get the opponent mana screwed approach win. <laughs> uh, yep, yep, yep. Well, we'll take it. Opponent passes. Ah! There goes our approach. We wanted that to win. Opponent passes. We get a Gideon. Well, let's Glimmer. Gideon to the bottom. Sanctum to the bottom. Play a Plains. Crack the Puzzle Knot. Get some energy. Activate Marvel. And we'll just take a Puzzle Knot for now. Pass the turn. And our opponent sco scoops it up. They stop the approach combo, but two lands not going to do it. All right, run it back. And okay, not the fastest hand, but Rogue Refiners clog things up a bit. Opponent has Foreboding Ruins and passes. Well, Prairie Stream, pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. And there's Scrappy P Scrounger. Well, let's Sanctum attune with Ether. Get a Plains. Pass the turn. There's a Mountain for our opponent. And, ooh, Forerunner of Slaughter. That's aggressive. So we're taking six? Now yeah, let's cycle a cast out. There's a Marvel. Play an Ether Hub. Get an Energy. Play Rogue Refiner. Draw a card. It's a Prairie Stream. Pass the turn. This does get us to a Marvel activation next turn. Polet has Smoldering Marsh. Kills our Rogue Refiner. Oh my god. Gonna get in for nine? Well, we are gonna need a very good hit off this Marvel. Look at this draw. Play an Ether Hub, get an energy. Marvel, spin the Marvel. Well, I think Fumigate's our best bet there. Slow our opponent down a bit. Pass the turn. Go back up to eight. What's our opponent have as a follow up? Plays a land. Heart of Kirin. And passes. Oh, we get a Glimmer. Well, let's play Lumbering Falls, pass the turn. Opponent does not get back Scrounger. Plays a Pia Nalar. Well, let's cast out. Get the Heart of Kirin. Opponent passes. Play a Rogue Refiner. Play a Plains. Play a Rogue Refiner. And pass the turn. See if we keep living. Here comes Scrounger. Yep. Well, we need to live and get a good hit off of our Marvel next turn. Opponent has Chandra. Okay, that's bad. Kills a Rogue Refiner. Gets us an energy. Tags with everything. Well, we will kill PNLR. Drop to four. Get an energy. Another Glimmer. All right, so a tune. Get a Island. How do we stay alive? Spin the Marvel. Oh, part the Water Veil is. Wait, can we win? Part the Water Veil gives us an extra turn. We take approach, go to 11. I think we just take part the water veil here. We'll hit an approach in the future. So part the water veil. Then we glimmer of genius. Stasis snare bottom approach. We will draw. And an approach. Play a lumbering falls. Go to our extra turn. Oh, wow. This is so interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six damage on board. If this somehow goes horribly wrong, then we're going to lose. But... We're going for it. So, approach, go up to 11, play an island, pass the turn. All right, opponent, can you 11 us? We have approach in hand for the win. They're five damage short of killing us on board. Takes up Chandra, incendiary flow. That's one extra damage if they cast it. Down to eight, virtual four. Opponent gets in for four, one card in hand. Did we actually get it? Oh my god. Did we just approach this super aggro deck? Flow to one! One! A damage short! <laughs> we untap opponents empty handed! We are going to tap seven lands and approach. 
of the second Suns for the win. Whoa! Well, we obviously, game one, we got ran over. Game two, our opponent got stuck on lands. Game three, we both had pretty reasonable draws. Our opponent had Heart of Kieran, Scrap Huge Crowder, backed up by a Planeswalker, and we approached him. <laughs> Sweet. So what do we learn this week about Approach of the Second Sun, or Solar Energy in Standard, and the deck was reasonable. I mean, it wasn't absurd, but we got in five matches, one three, so that's like 60%. As far as games, we got in 13, one seven, just over 50, so not a bad record for and against the odds deck. We played a ton of aggro decks. Almost everyone was playing some form of aggro, and on paper, I would think that aggro would be one of our more challenging matchups. Yeah, if we get to approach, it's fine. We gain a bunch of life, we win the game, that part is sweet, but we don't really have a lot of interaction or ways to stop our opponent, so we just get run over, but I guess on the other hand, hardcore control with a ton of counters might be even worse because of countering on approach of the second sun, so I don't know as far as the matchups, but the deck seemed to do what it wanted to do pretty well. We just kind of made some energy and took some extra turns and eventually approached of the second sons. So it, it functioned pretty well, did a pretty good job. And I think that Etherworks Marvel really is the way to go outside of maybe a finisher in a hardcore control deck. And there I'm not a hundred percent sure is using approach for a finisher in like blue white control better than torrential gear Hulk or Sphinx or some of the other options that are available, even just pull from tomorrow. So is it better than that? I don't know, but I think this deck was actually fairly competitive, and it was pretty fun to play, did some really cool things, so overall I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Whenever you end up with a winning record, even a slightly winning record, or a 50-50 record with an Against the Odds deck, can't really complain about that. That's about as good as it gets for Against the Odds in general, so uh, that's pretty good, and I mean, yeah? It was a sweet deck. We just drew cards and took turns and eventually won with Approach of the Second Sons. Probably the sweetest thing about this deck is we actually won after getting our Approach hit by Lost Legacy, which isn't something I really imagined being possible for this deck. We don't really have a good backup plan. Technically, we can meet down with Rogue Refiners and Servant of the Conduits. That is theoretically a plan, and we can also do the part the water veil thing, although we're not really built to ramp into it, so we don't have a solid backup plan. We do have ways to win if everything goes wrong, so I was pretty impressed that the deck was able to piece together a win even without approach, and... I mean, we just got a lot of value. We have a lot of good value cards, a lot of ways to cycle through our deck and find our approach. Even when we don't have the Etherworks Marvel kill, we're able to approach and dig for it with Glimmers and Rogue Refiners. So overall, I think it was pretty sweet and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And it was, it was pretty awesome to actually get the approach kills. Also pretty awesome to confuse opponents had multiple opponents who were confused why we didn't win when we cast our second approach off Etherworks Marvel and had to explain we didn't cast it from our hand. Uh, so all around, some sweet moments with the deck. Anyway, that's been our Against the Odds for this week. Solar Energy, or Approach of the Second Sun for Amonkhet Standard. If you want to vote for next week's deck, make sure to follow the link in the description to the article on the site. Down at the bottom, you can find a poll featuring a bunch more Amonkhet options for next week against the odds. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure to check out the worldwide Amonkhet booster box giveaway. Link for that in the description as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay videos. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.